it's been confirmed by Operator Santos that there has been a major discovery at Pavo. Here is their press release, a headline, Significant Pavo Oil Discovery Near Dorado Development. And uh, as a reminder, uh, you can see the details in our other video, which uh, we're highlighting here in the top right hand corner. You can go and have a look at that now and then come back to this one. But you can see that here's the acreage position. Here's a, a rose with all the different plays radiating away from the Phoenix Dorado area. And all of this region is licensed in some combination of Santos and Carnarvon Energy. We show here with the two arrows, this is the Pavo well, and the next well in line is the Apis One well, which we'll be drilling after Pavo. So we went through the geology to show it's a Triassic Basin of Deltaic Mega Sequence, um, and we described the play. And here is a seismic line of Pavo, and this is the well, which has actually proved up this northern culmination with um, what looks to be a sort of a central and a southern culmination um, yet to be drilled and proven. So the news today was that uh, the well had found a 60 metre gross hydrocarbon column within the Cayley sandstone reservoir, which is Triassic in age. 46 metres of net oil pay, a terrific result. Uh, an oil water contact has been identified. Um, we don't have a TVD depth on any of these, but the measured depth is uh, 3,004 metres. Hopefully that'll come out. The porosity, permeability and hydrocarbon saturation are very much in line with uh, nearby discoveries at, at uh, Dorado and at um, Phoenix South. Now, the one thing we've highlighted here is uh, it's described as a, a light sweet oil at 52 degrees API gravity. Um, now, that's very, very light, and in other parts of the world, that would be called a kind of a condensate. would require very little refining before actually putting it straight into a, a petrol engine. And low GOR. Now, the, uh, the low GOR we find strange. Um, we would anticipate that this would be quite a, a gassy sort of gas condensate, but... Um, Maybe there's something going on that's not in the public domain. Now, in terms of the contingent resources that this well has proven, um, that's 43 million barrels in the northern culmination. In the southern culmination, yet to be drilled, it's prospective resources, so it hasn't been drilled yet. So uh, potential for um, about a mid-case of about 40 million barrels. Now, the, the P sub G of 60% seems kind of low, perhaps suggests that the uh, that the the culmination here in the north may not be full to spill. I don't know, that's speculation. We'll find out in due course. Maybe Santos will put something more out on that. Well, what next? The well's continuing. It's going to drill all the way down to uh, 4,200 metres to its total depth, and that's really to evaluate the early Triassic and late Permian. Now, um, this would de-risk a number of prospects in the area, it would also inform about the uh, the reservoir quality, potential source rocks, and indeed, if there is the uh, confirms the, the the reef play in the uh, the Lake Permian section. Now, Apus One, this is actually a, a bigger prospect. Uh, prospective resources here: two hundred and thirty-five million barrels of oil and four hundred eight BCF of gas. It's going to be drilled with the Noble Tom Prosser rig. And uh, there's a seismic line. We talked about this in the last video. And you can see the location. Here's Pavo North, some 46 kilometres away from Dorado. Here is the Apis Well, just some 31 kilometres away from Dorado, about 20 kilometres southwest of Pavo. So Pavo could well be a low-cost tie-back to Dorado, 45 kilometres, 46. And the operator says that uh, it estimates a break-even cost of less than ten dollars a barrel now we put the information from this morning's press release into our trove database and this is an interesting plot now unfortunately we don't have reported in the publicly available data that we've seen true vertical depth so we can only plot this against measured depths and we do know that some of these Dorado wells in particular and, and perhaps some of these other Phoenix wells may have been deviated somewhat so they may be a little bit shallower in reality but this is where the uh, the Pavo results plot here 52 API slightly lighter crude but really in the same ballpark and 
very sort of condensate rich area and, and gassy area with some large columns being reported as well. Where do we get all this information from? Well, we just dip into Trove. And here's the Trove entry just for Dorado. So we have all this information just ready to pick up. But we don't just have it for Dorado. We have it for every single field and discovery offshore Australia. But not just Australia. We have it for Indonesia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Vietnam. In fact, every offshore geological basin worldwide. That's why we can do these videos so quickly. We look forward to uh, seeing you back on the channel. Please subscribe. Ring the bell. You'll get informed when we come out with our next video. And if you want to get in touch, and um, if Santos wants to give us some more information about the uh, the wells, we'll, we'll publish in a, a follow-up video. Thanks very much for your time.